Hey guys, since it's going to be a team upcoming next month in December, I figured we'd go back to 1994, where two heroes or anti-heroes teamed up. We had Spawn and we had Batman. Now, this comic was interesting because it was drawn by the one and only Todd McFarlane and written by the one and only Frank Miller. Now, most of you guys know who Todd McFarlane is. He's the guy that created Spawn. He's the guy that makes those really awesome toys that I have way too many of. Um, and I love his his work ethic and mindset. Frank Miller, he's an uh, amazing writer and artist. Dark Knight Returns, one of my favorite comics, and one of my favorite DC animated films, as well as Sin City, one of my favorite movies and comics, and 300. Do I say more? So, 94 brought these two powerhouses together. So let's do a little quick deep dive on, uh, you know, spoiler free. I don't want to give the ending of it, but a little bit about this uh, team up, Batman and Spawn. Now, I enjoyed this comic for what it was. Like, I read it when I was way younger. I remember finding this book at dollar stores many moons ago. I might even have two or three somewhere in my uh, back cave. But, um... It was good, and you could definitely see uh, Frank Miller's um, style of writing in this, and we'll get more into details in a sec. Now, it starts off with Batman going to a, a warehouse where he tracked down a bunch of weapons being brought into Gotham, not his city. And these weapons end up to be these biotech, big league, freaking robotic weapons. So while he's going through them, all of a sudden... He gets attacked by some big cyborg or monster robot thing. Beats the living hell out of him. He gets thrown around like a rag doll. So after getting tossed around for a minute, Batman decides to put on one of these cybernetic gloves. He starts pounding away at the robot to, to realize, oh man, there's somebody inside of it. He's like hard shell, soft flesh, He's beating the heck out of it. Now Frank Miller loves to do these monologues with Batman. He always gets in Batman's head. And Batman's always like angry and grizzled and sometimes a little um cranky but we'll go more into that in a minute but um yeah so he finds out that there's somebody inside he jumps on top of the robot still wailing on it so batman starts pulling at the robot's f or the guy's head and he tears it off so apparently the guy has no body but boom, boom but anyway so the guy's like i can't feel my legs who am i and all that so batman kind of puts two and two together that maybe this guy is a victim but he has to take it to the Batcave for more analysis. So while Batman is looking at the head in the Batcave and going back and forth with Alfred, they're kind of having a little, uh, you know, pissing contest there. So TV comes on in the background and there's a humanitarian and she wants to heal the world. And then uh, her name is Mar Dr. Margaret Love. And then um, she cares about people, humanitarians. Hmm, getting the humanitarian award. Where does that sound familiar? So Batman finds out that this poor derelict is from New York City. And guess where he has to go next? I wonder who he's going to run into. Enter our boy Al Simmons, a.k.a. Spawn. He's in New York doing his thing, prowling, protecting the uh, the innocent. And he happens to come across something really, really, really messed up. So he comes across these guys trying to burn a homeless man alive. So Spawn swoops in, threatens their life, um, and then he gives them a taste of their own medicine. But, of course, at the same time, while Batman comes in, he's watching Spawn murder these two guys, who kind of deserves it. And Batman's unhappy about it, so he kicks Spawn dead in his spine. He goes to say he's young, so he'll heal in about six months. Little does Batman know who he's up against. They fight for a while. Batarangs, drone, chains, all that. And Spawn, technically, he's kind of trying to, like, reason with Batman. But Batman and Frank Miller's Batman, you can't reason with him. He's um really, really stubborn and angry and very single-minded. So um, there's no uh, reasoning with Batman on this. The fight goes on for a minute. Batman throws a grenade. Spawn starts feeling sick, whatever he inhaled, 
starts making him throw up, and Spawn had it. So now Spawn uses magic. Now Spawn's powers are from hell, so he has a limited amount of powers before he gets thrown back down there. So he has to use it sparingly. At this point, Spawn is done with reasoning. He's done with trying to fight Batman. So up there, I kind of feel as a cheap. You just see like, ooh, dud, smack, uh, pow, uh, uh, on top. So he's beating the living hell out of Batman. We can't even watch it. So, yeah, so Batman gets his, uh, his ass handed to him. And then Spawn walks away throwing up. They both go off to lick their wounds. And Batman's planning how he's going to come back and get this guy for beating the heck out of him. And Spawn is trying to figure out, like, what the heck just happened. Sorry, I felt left out. Um, so Spawn goes into Batman's mind and shows him that this Margaret Love, this humanitarian, isn't such a good person. And... Um, she killed, she was a mercenary, and she enjoyed it. And Batman's like, she smiled. And um, so, yeah, Batman finally realizes maybe humanitarian isn't so humanitarian. So now this, this mind meld got them together. So Batman and Spawn looking sad up there, as you can see. They kind of realize, wait a minute, we kind of have a common interest here. We're not bad guys. And Batman sees Spawn for who he is with his tragedies. And Spawn sees Batman for who he is. And Spawn even says, you ever thought about getting help? And Batman kind of tells him, uh, you know, screw you, you know, who are you to tell me anything? And then they kind of go about their business to find Miss Margaret Love, the humanitarian. So, so here we have the final, the splash page of the heroes going off to do their final battle Will Spawn still put up with Batman's garbage? Will Batman stop calling Spawn names like Undisciplined and Punk? Will they get along it long enough to fight Miss Humanitarian on a cruise ship? You'll have to read the comic. There is a paperback coming out. I think it's this month. If you could track down the old one, great. If not, I think DC and Image is putting out a trade paperback. I won't t tell you the end. But t let me know what you think. Did they make Spawn too weak in this? Did they make Batman too strong? Vice versa. What do you think of the concept? And I'll go over the next old issue of Batman and Spawn very soon. Till then, everyone, stay encouraged.